It's Friday! Sorry this video didn't get up sooner. Um, it was a combination of me waking up late this morning and almost missing my physics test, and Jen's after running club saying, Hey Brandon, let's go to the homecoming parade! And then we had to wait for the bus for like 50 minutes. And it was really cold out. So, my bad guys. Um, I think I'm going to get straight to questions. Let's see. Connor's question. He thinks I should get an afro and a beard. So, I tried one of them. Let's see how that worked out. Look, everybody, it's Brandon and I got a perm. See, an afro perm, whatever, it looks good on Todd, but not on me. So, no, I should not get an afro, grow out my beard, and whatever crazy idea you have. So, Keith wants to know if that $2 million car that gets 8 miles to the gallon would be practical. No. No, it wouldn't be practical because 8 miles to the gallon isn't practical unless you're driving a semi-truck and hauling like 18,000 pounds of materials. I mean, then it's practical because you got a lot of weight. Obviously, you're going to need more fuel to power that. But if it's you and someone else in a sports car and you're only getting 8 miles to the gallon, you got a problem. Luke, people think you're gay because you wear hilariously colorful pants and then you coordinate an outfit to go along with them. For instance, Tom Green shirt, green pants every time. Mike Shinoda shirt, white pants, every time. Nobody plans their outfits ahead like that, except for you and every other gay person I know. That's why people think you're gay. I, I just thought about that. I, I made it sound like you were a gay person that I knew. Um, you're a straight person I know that everyone else thinks is gay. But that's why they think you're gay. Don't think I forgot about Rob's question. For those of you just tuning in to good questions, Rob's wants to know, if I could go on a date with any girl in the world, all of them, who would I go on a date with? And I don't have a concrete name like Rob's does with Nicole, and I also don't have a description like Connor did. I'm just kind of open to anything. So here's my answer. I would like to go on a date with the first female that comments down there the saying they want to go on a date with me and maybe we could set something up see what happens so ladies how can you resist shirtless Brandon I mean come on I don't have a shirt on I'm already halfway naked we could go out to dinner at McDonald's but you'd have to buy the food because I don't have a shirt it's no shirt no shoes no service Actually, right now, I don't even have shoes on, so you'd, you'd probably have to pay. Sorry about that. All right, that's all the questions answered, so let me give you a quick recap of my week before I an ask a question. Saturday, if you haven't heard already, Keith and Connor came up, and we went to a dance party called Too Much Love that happens to take place at a club called First Ave. But, as Luke mentioned, we got lost because we were on... 4th Avenue going, huh, wonder where 1st Ave is. So, after that, it was a lot of fun. You got to dance. You got to watch drunk people dance, which is hilarious if you've never tried it. Uh, so, Sunday was sleeping and doing my calc, or looking at my calc and crying. So, that was no good. Uh, Monday, nothing extraordinary happened. Uh, two classes, eight mile run, done for the day. Tuesday, Tuesday, nothing else happened. Uh, did a tempo run in the rain. For those of you out of the loop, that's where I run really, really fast, but not quite fast enough to be racing. And I did that for five miles. So that was that was a good time. It was cold and a bus splashed me one time so I was just drenched so that was that it just got colder from that point but oh that was a good run I mean I feel like I got faster 
Uh, Wednesday, Wednesdays are just shit days. Um, I have class starts at nine. My last class ends at nine, and there's four and a half hours in between there where I'm not in class. So that that's a long day. And then all my physics is due Thursday, and since I'm an idiot, uh, I always do my physics Wednesday night. So. I went to bed at like 3 in the morning on Thursday because I also had to listen to two radio stations for 20 minutes each and watch a 30 minute news broadcast and then describe the types of advertisements that were used and how they would uh, play to the target audience of each of these stations. And that was just stupid. I just listened to an alternative rock station and an 80s station and I watched the CBS Evening News just boring. But I mean, I had to get it done, otherwise I get zero out of 20, and participation's like 20% of our grades, so. <sighs> Thursday. Thursday, you said you'd call Sears. Thursday I had a calc midterm, and that just, I just pulled my pants down and just got raped. It was terrible. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, today, Today was a lot busier than most Fridays. That's why this video is so late getting posted. Uh, I woke up late, so about 10 o'clock. Had physics at 11.15, so I took a test. I had to come back to Bailey uh, to grab running shoes. So I ate lunch here. And then I went back for open lab from 1.30 to 3.30 because we didn't finish our whole lab on Wednesday because my group just kind of played with the carts on the track and just ran them into each other a whole bunch. So we had to go back today and do it again, except this time that, that we were like the only group that was there the whole time, so the TAs kept coming over and making sure we weren't messing around. And then after that we went on a run, which was awesome because it was bring a friend to running club day, which means we only go three miles, which is not much. We go super slow. I think it took us almost 26 minutes to do. And then afterwards, we walked to Ben and Jerry's and ate ice cream. So, I mean, I, I can't imagine a better practice for running. I mean, easy runs, those are usually like five miles or in excess of five miles. Today was like super easy run, plus you only have to go three miles, and then we get Ben and Jerry's afterwards. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, and now, I think, it's time for me to ask a question. So here's my question, GQs. What was the last song you listened to? It's a pretty simple question. Uh, but sometimes I find that when I ask this question, it can reveal a lot about the person in question. Like, if they say anything by insane clown posse, then I know to avoid that person for the rest of my life. So, the last song I listened to was Keep the Car Running by Arcade Fire. I look forward to seeing your videos. Have a nice weekend. Hold the phone. I just remembered one thing. Uh, Dustin Weed was featured in my last video. And I don't know if you noticed, but in the bed right there, uh, and the intro scene where I'm talking about Ghostface Killer, you can see Dustin Weed and his girlfriend just a little bit. You can maybe see their feet because they're watching the Amityville Horror in that intro scene. So maybe you could rewind, give my video another view as you peruse that scene. They are up there, but you have to look tough. Good luck.